the law of attraction that's brought you together to do this and where she's coming up. So, you know, uh, whatever relationship you're in, it's about owning your own emotions and dealing with the emotions. And, um, uh, and AJ always says, if they are your soulmate, then they'll be feeling more attracted to you as you go through that process. And if they're not, then the law of attraction will change again. And, Yeah, I just wanted to say a little about that. If, if you're so focused on the soulmate issue, um, usually it's because we have quite a lot of maybe-based emotions within us uh, towards the opposite sex. And if, if we're talking about same-sex uh, couples, it's obviously we've got some maybe-based emotions towards the same sex in many cases. And so what often happens is that we finish up um, feeling that, oh, I want this soulmate relationship, but in reality, we're not dealing with the emotions that the current relationship that we're in is actually exposing. And not only just dealing with the emotions, because remember, on the divine path, it's not always about emotion. In fact, uh, in fact, in time, you'll find it's not ever about emotion so much as about love and truth. Um, so, so there's a lot of things that we finish up avoiding in our current relationships that are based around truth. So, so how many of you feel a little dissatisfied, for instance, say, just out of one thing, with your sex life, for example? And then don't, and I don't mean you're not with somebody, I mean you're with somebody and you're dissatisfied. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you don't discuss that because you're afraid of offending the other person or you're afraid that raising the issue is going to make it worse or you're afraid that whatever, you know, whatever you're afraid of. And, and then, in the end, it does get worse anyway, generally. But it gets worse because, in fact, we're not facing the issue of truth. And we do this so much in relationships, even if it's not a soulmate relationship, we have a tendency to keep on avoiding truth all the time, running away from truth. And that's a major, major lesson to learn in a relationship. There is a part of your soul that only activates with truth. Your whole throat chakra is all about truth, right? and speaking it and living it. And and so, you know, if you can't speak and live in truth, then then you're going to have a lot of difficulties with relationships. The other thing about truth is that, um, like, there's so much help available to us from our guides and from God, but unless we're in truth, they can't act because we're not in harmony, you know, with divine love. So that was a really important thing for me to learn and it gives me strength when I'm feeling afraid of being in complete truth and vulnerability. Like, yeah. So, so do you understand, like, in your current relationship, the answer is to really focus on all of these lessons that you're learning about love and put them into practice without fear. And, and you might say to this, and I have people often say to me, oh, but if I do that, we'll be broken up in six months or we'll be broken up in two weeks. And I say, well, fair enough. If that's, if that's what's going to happen from you being truthful, then obviously there's a problem with this relationship. And now, most of the time, though, what actually happens is our partner is attracted to the truth. And what we think is going to finish up breaking us up often draws us closer together. And so there's nothing... Uh, like, just have the courage to, to live these personal lessons of truth in your own life have the courage to do it in your relationship no matter how scary it gets or appears to be before you do it and if you do that your you will grow and there's a very good chance your partner will grow and even if your partner is not your soulmate you will at some point both recognize that to be the case and in fact in the spirit world this happens quite often where where couples separate so all the way through the spirit world, the first, second, third sphere, third, fourth sphere, fifth sphere, are still a couple, and then they get to the fifth sphere and they realise hey, they're not actually soulmates. Right? And they break up amicably, and they're still great friends, and they find their soulmate and have a relationship with their soulmate. And there's nothing to stop us from doing that on this either. Every, every, every relationship breakup doesn't have to be traumatic. It's only traumatic if one party is not living in, in love then it may become traumatic uh, for that one party. And if both parties are not living in love, it's going to be traumatic for both. But uh, just let, let yourself live the lessons in love. Practice them in, in, in the life. And the best, 
if you're in a relationship, that's a fantastic way to start practicing these these lessons of truth and love.